nice hole when you're planting uh, your garden stuff. So anyway, that's the Wonder Shovel. That is my pick in this show. We're gonna get right to my pick of flowers. So, Kyle, you can feel free to pull up that picture of my, uh, of my Samba Rose, my uh, Rio Samba. I bought the Rio Samba, it was either last year or the year before. Um, it came in yellow. This color is even better. This color has peach and orange and red and yellow. It is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can come right in. There's mine. I love how tight the little petals are on this as well. So this one has the same. If you come right in on top of this flower right here, look at how, look at how cram packed that is with beautiful petals. Real flower, gorgeous. This is only $21.95. What you're gonna get when you order is this right here. And uh, Rochelle's gonna be out in one second. She'll explain all this and why. This is a bare root division. This plant is already several years old, okay? What they do is they cut it back. There's the roots down below. They cut it back. This will create almost a full-size plant in about 30 to 60 days. And then year after year, because it's a perennial, year after year, you're gonna get more blossoms, more flowers. It's jam-packed. When mine is in full bloom, I have about a dozen to 15 roses at a time. It is my pick. It is absolutely beautiful. This is a brand new color. It's easy to grow. It's got a super long bloom period and it has longer stems so you can uh, use this for cut flowers. You will love this. Uh, and the price, $21.95. It's a steal. Uh, let me introduce you to my special guest. She's been a, a, our garden expert here for years. Uh, she's absolutely amazing. Uh, her name is Rochelle Grayer. Uh, she's over up there in Boston where I'm hoping it's starting to be spring up there, Rochelle. It is. I have bulbs coming up. The <laughs> snow is almost gone. I've been shoveling it back onto the driveway so that it'll melt yeah. faster. But, <laughs> yeah. but yes, we have the rose and I'm excited to plant. I, I, I started growing roses you know, like four years ago when I started sharing roses here on HSN. Honestly, I didn't really grow them before, but we have such amazing roses that I've had huge success. Your rose is gonna come in a plastic bag like this. If you cannot plant it right away, leave it in that bag all sealed up until you're ready to plant. But as Guy said, this is gonna have like, look at mine. It already has little bits of growth coming right out of it already. Uh, and that's because this rose is a couple years old already. That's the beauty of buying bare root roses. In fact, everything we have in this show, we have four plants, all of it is bare root. And the reason that we like that is because you're one, you're not paying for dirt and two, you're getting better plants faster. Uh, particularly with roses, you get bigger, better, in your first year. And the Rio Samba is a particularly fantastic rose. It's a somewhat newer rose, um, but it is amazing for a few reasons. One, the color. You get like four different colors. It's kind of like this ombre sunset. It opens with these red tips. And then as it matures, it kind of goes through shades of pink and yellow and coral. It's like a sunset. It's amazing. Plus they are very big roses. The blooms themselves are four to five inches wide, which is particularly big. And then the other thing that I really love about this rose is, you know, many roses will only be like long, this is a long stem hybrid tea, tea rose. So you're gonna get those nice long stems. Most of those roses, basically you get one stem, one bloom which is nice for arranging for sure. But also we have cluster roses that get many roses per stem. Those are also really nice for arranging. Usually something is one or the other. This one gets both of those kinds of stems. You're gonna get long stem roses. You're also gonna get some stems that might have two or three. It's just beautiful. You're gonna get so many blooms. That's kind of the big thing of the Rio Samba. It smells great. It's a more subtle rose smell, but really spicy oh, and citrusy. Yes. Beautiful. So many roses. This is gonna bloom July, August, into maybe even September. This is really a fantastic rose. I cannot say enough good things about it. This is, we, we only pick the roses that are easy to grow. Yeah. And this is just one of those unique ones that you can really wow people with but it's still such a such a winner, you know, in your garden, yeah. you can't go wrong with it. I, I'll tell you, it's it's one of my favorites that I have. <clears throat> um, you know, I have two rose plants. One has really dark, dark, uh, almost like purple pink uh, flowers. And then I have my mm -hmm. Samba, which is, uh, which uh, like I said, is yellow. I get right now, and, and now don't forget we're in Florida, but right now I must have a dozen buds on my Samba rose. And it's my favorite because it yeah, does, wow. I agree with your point. It smells different than a traditional rose. It has a really, sweet 
kind of a different scent. It, I, 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 it's hard to explain, but I love it. I always pick a rose and I'll, I'll give it to, to, uh, to Danny's girlfriend, Lily, or, or to my mom or whatever. And I'm like, it smells so unique. And the color is beautiful. And yeah. do you want to hear this? All I do with my rose, my roses, especially when they start to come in, I water them like every other day. And I add a little bit of fertilizer once every two weeks because you know, they're producing big yeah. flowers. That's all, I mean, yeah. Uh, you can't screw this up, all right? And remember, you also have our guarantee. Yeah. So uh, you've got our, you know, these are perennials. You get our guarantee with it. If they don't grow for you, we'll replace it, give you your money back. If you love roses and you've always been afraid because you think, oh, wait, I got to spray them. They get the pests. They get the aphids. These are disease tolerant. They are pest resistant. I have never sprayed. I've never sprayed any of my plants because the plants that I got I here. I either. They're all, they're all pest resistant because they've been bred that way. Yeah. So you don't have to be out there. My dad used to have to go out and spray all his plants. And then, you know, you felt funny bringing it yeah. inside because you knew it had pesticides on it, right? So really quickly before I hand it back to Rochelle, how do you order? All right, well, when you place the order today, you remember that number, 827-100, okay, or 300, I think. We will deliver or we will ship this based on your zip code. So if you live in the northern tier of the country, you're not gonna get yours till uh, sort of end of April, early May. If you live in the middle of the country, you'll start getting them relatively soon. You could see like April through the middle of April. If you live in the southern portion of the country, you will be getting them right away. Now, you will not be charged for your purchase until it ships, okay? Until your order processes and it ships. So if you live in the north of the country, you're not even gonna be charged for this for probably another month, okay? Then you'll see the bill, you'll know it's coming in the mail. But again, this is what you're getting. A very healthy, vibrant, bare root division. That's what they call this. So Rochelle, this bare root is already, it's already very well established. It is, yeah. These are field-grown roses. They're not container-grown. So we're taking them right out of the field. They've been growing happily with plenty of root space, plenty of sun, all the good things they need to be very healthy plants, no root bound, anything like that. And they are going to be go ready to go right into your garden and basically act like they were acting where they came. They're just, uh, we pruned the roots, we pruned the tops. That gives them a nice, fresh, healthy start. They're going to come out with new growth almost immediately. I mean, in, in fact, mine here that I just got yesterday already has new growth coming out straight out of the bag. This is an easy winner for your garden. And if you love roses, why not? I mean, I, I, people think that roses are hard to grow and they're just not anymore. That is uh, the miracle and the science behind uh, some really great new breeding and horticulture. You can have roses without all the bad stuff. And Hey, Go for it. If you, I, I always say, people, listen, if you've only got room for one plant, roses are such a nice plant to grow. And the ones that we offer are so easy to grow. And you're going to get flowers, and it's going to make you smile. And it's, 20, it's $21.95. And it's going to come back year after year after year. At the end of the season, you just cut it back. It'll go back into that kind of dormant period. You can bring it inside, whatever. And then you're good to go. Every season, but you, you put don't it out in the spring, to. and you're like, oh, my gosh, here it comes. It's growing again. You're going to love it. Uh, 827300. Yeah. I mentioned before the key and success to a great garden is you need to fertilize, but here's the biggest thing use spray and grow. Spray and grow was developed by farmers, all right, the farming industry, to produce more plants, bigger plants, better yield, more vegetables. You can use spray and grow on anything flowers, fruits, veggies, trees, shrubs, grass. Anything you spray this on, it will grow and it'll grow exponentially. It's vitamins for your plant. You know, your plants have a surface like our skin. It soaks up through the skin. It's non-toxic. These are before and afters, with or without. Look at the size of the radishes on the right. I have it available in the gallon, which I recommend. The gallon will last you a couple years. I also have it available in the half. I have it in the 32 ounce. If you want to try it and use it on your house plants, indoors, outdoors, non-toxic. Carry Mobley, it's a customer pick. Read the reviews. Wait till you see all the pictures of what Spray and Grow will do to your plants. All right, we're gonna move on. And we're gonna talk about our butterfly plant. So I don't know about you, but we have the most beautiful butterflies here in Florida. When you go up to Universal or Disney, you know, you'll see butterfly gardens all over the place because we get a lot of them. The reason is we put the plants out that butterflies really, really want. 
And this is called, actually has it in the title, this is called the Monarch Butterfly Plant. It'll not only bring monarch butterflies, they call it monarch, I guess, because it's got sort of some of the monarch color in there. Rochelle will clarify. Um, but you're gonna get one, two, three, four of these. All four. And if you wanna see creatures come to your house, this is the way to do it. It is a great container plant loaded with little feeding stations. That's why the butterflies and the, and the honeybees love this. Totally easy care. No maintenance whatsoever. All right, you can add a little water, obviously, fly, you know, a little uh, spray and grow. This is a good one for spray and grow because of all those flowers. They're going to soak in those micronutrients. All four for one price. We'll show you that price in a sec. 20, here it comes. <laughs> $24.95. dollars a plant. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, these are already well established, okay? But you are going to get the bare root on this. I love, whenever I can get bare root in a plant, I always get it because it's already been living and thriving, all right? And you know the condition of it. So you're going to get four bare roots, you drop them in the ground, you're good to go. Rochelle, tell me about this. Yeah, so just so you know, this is what they look like. They kind of look like baby carrots. And uh, the reason they look like baby carrots is because this is a baby tap root. A tap root is a root that goes way down deep and really anchors in a plant. And it means that the plant is very tough. It means that the plant can draw water from a very far distance. And it's really one of those plants that you can plant in a hot, dry place and not have to worry about that. That's what a tap root does for you. So that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get four of those. And here's the really amazing thing about, uh, it's Asclepsia tuberosa, if you wanted to know the last name, uh, Latin name, but we call it monarch butterfly plant because this is the plant that monarch butterflies specifically lay their eggs on. So if you want monarchs, as well as all the other butterflies, but monarchs specifically are going to lay their eggs on this plant. It's a native plant. It's the plant that they need in their big journey to go, you know, you've seen those National Geographic pictures where they go down to Mexico and then they go all the way up to Canada and all this stuff in between. But they need more of these to lay their eggs so that we can continue to have big, uh, you know, flocks of monarchs and that amazing natural beauty. So um, planting this is really something that's, you know, not just great for all pollinators because it really is a food source for a lot of pollinators, but it is a native plant that is desperately needed for monarchs specifically. So if you love monarchs, it's not just uh, the colors and all of that, that you get this beautiful oranges with these uh, flowers, but uh, that easy care and the fact that you are specifically going to be um, providing a little nursery for baby monarchs. That's where they like to live. That's where they're going to be born. So uh, right there in your garden and um, and they'll, they'll be happy, happy, happy to have these beautiful orange plants and I just want to point out by the way these and the rose that we just talked about are a beautiful color combination with all those oranges and pinks and everything they go well together and they grow well together so this is something you know if you've got the rose you can also plant this monarch um, butterfly plant right around it and you're gonna have you know not just beautiful flowers but beautiful monarchs as well so remember you're getting the bare root i always say if you can get bare root that's the way to go right because it's going to grow it's going to thrive better yeah. and these plants are going to when they come back year after year they're a perennial so you're going to get that great great look big. That beautiful orange color remember if you are ordering this today this is our map that shows when they'll be delivered. So if you live up in the, you know, the Dakotas up there, right? Uh, you're not gonna get yours shipped out until uh, the beginning of May. And you won't be charged until the beginning of the May. Uh, beginning of May. If you are in the middle part of the country, you'll get them more towards April, mid-April, late April. And then if you're at the southern part of the country like us in Florida or Texas or lower California, Arizona, you're gonna get yours right away. So get these home. We will get all four of these. All right, these, uh, what you're looking at here is probably season two. They do grow very, very quickly and you will have flowers in your first season. You get all four, so you can plant them in a cluster, you can put them in a pot, put them in the ground, do whatever you want. Remember, again, pest and, and disease, uh, disease resistant. And if you want butterflies, you gotta put out the bait and that's what this is right here, 827-386. All right, remember what I was talking about with Lou, the Bionic Color Burst Light? I bought the Bionic Lights last year or the year before for my driveway when they just came in white. You actually have color choices with these. You can also turn them on in white. You get four of the color burst lights. They're right behind me. There they are. Uh, they are completely wireless solar. Light up your driveway. Light up your patio. Light up your backyard. How many? Oh my gosh. All right, I only have 600 left. <laughs> They're already selling. You can mount these anywhere. They have a big solar panel. Look at how beautiful they are. 
790093. Great way to illuminate your property. Those are coming up a little bit later in the show. All right. Let me just grab my water, Jenna. Thank you. All right, so let's get to what I would call the star of your yard, which is our summer sorbet hardy hibiscus. Um, you're getting two. This is what they wind up looking like. Make sure you got room on your patio or your porch because these are so substantial. They call them dinner plate hibiscus, and I think you can understand why. There's my hand, and I've got big hands, but look at the size of that flower. Big as a dinner plate. You're gonna get French vanilla, which is right here, and then you're also going to get the uh, Berry Awesome. You get one of each for $36.95. I'm gonna hand it right over to Rochelle, let her tell you all about it, because I know we get busy every time we put these out. People want them. I mean, these are real stars yes. of the show, Rochelle, right? Oh, they are, and they are so popular here, and I'm sure they have a million good reviews, too, because they are so um, just beautiful at, again, that time of year when things are hard to be beautiful. It's at that heat of the summer. These are later bloomers. They're going to be blooming for you in August. I actually think that vanilla one is one we've never offered before. I don't think I've seen that color, so uh, that's exciting. I love that kind of uh, creamy color, but these are really, uh, there's a showstoppers of your garden. Honestly, we've had people report that, you know, they live on a lake and the people on the other side of the lake can see these flowers and that people stop and, if, and, and that kind of thing like stop the car and ask them what it is if you don't want people kind of asking you like oh my gosh what is that with these giant huge showy flowers you know this is not the plant for you but these are again a native plant which is uh, fantastic for pollinators and um, and for you as a gardener because native plants are happier to grow in their native environment. They make it easier for, for you as a gardener. So these are gonna be one of those plants that wants a lot of water. And if you have kind of a wet spot, we always have a wet spot. Who doesn't have a little bit of a wet spot in their yard? This is the plant for that. It really likes that wet soil. It likes a lot of moisture. If you have a place that you know, just maybe isn't draining as well as everywhere else. This is the plant that's going to just love that and actually really just oh. thrive. Uh, They're native to these kind of swampy areas and they just get these monstrously huge, the gorgeous flowers. The color is, cra is crazy. Stunning. And if you look at the number of buds that are on this one, I mean, just in the front section, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There are so many flowers that pop out every day. And one of the reasons I love hibiscus too is that you get that flower and, and these have a tendency to linger a little bit longer. I think you told me, Rochelle, but normally they're only a day. Mm -hmm. These you might get more yeah. than a day out of, is that true? Uh, yeah, that is true. And also um, th these go kind of late in the season. Um, they, they are, they're some of the later blooming varieties too. So, you know, when everything else is starting to fade, these are just coming out. And I, I wanna say, people don't believe that, you know, way up north, I'm here in Boston, that you can have a beautiful tropical looking plant like this. You do not have to grow these in containers. These are hard, all, hardy all the way to zone four, which is basically the Canadian border in most places. I live in Boston. I have dozens of them in my yard yeah. and they are stunning and beautiful and they I do nothing to them. I've planted them in containers. They're happy there as well, but you can plant them straight into the ground. You do not need to worry. They are hardy for basically this entire map. So, um, and this map, I just want to say, this is when we're going to ship. Um, these are perennials, so they get that one year guarantee. When the plant arrives, that's your cue to put it in the ground. Yeah. Uh, when they arrive, they're gonna look a little bit like these. I don't actually have a sample, I think you do. But they kind of look like a bunch of carrots, by the way. So these are, uh, these are uh, a bare root as well. And just put it in the ground, you'll see there's a dirt line. Just put it up to that dirt line and bury it in, just like that. You can kind of see where it is. These are full of life and they'll start throwing out these woody branches. Yeah. You'll have a nice size shrub. They get about four feet tall. Yep. They're really nice. There's that dirt big, line big, you're talking plants. about right there. So yep. you're gonna you're gonna bury them about up to there. Okay, that's all you need to do. Yep. And then watch, because look and look at how healthy the roots are on this already. This is what you want. All right. This if you can get this, this is such a great deal. And the, the plants that we have out here are probably in year two or year three. Um, I've had my uh, braided hibiscus for several years and um, they stay, once they reach maturity, they kind of stay about this size, but it is so much fun to get them home. And I get flowers every single day, beautiful, gorgeous yeah. flowers. And did you know that hibiscus, remember, was it Rochelle? We said the only state 
that doesn't have hibiscus uh, or doesn't have this is uh, this tropical flower is Hawaii, right? Is it Hawaii? Oh really? I did. I did. Maybe it's That's another plant to me. Up. They Not have because some you other have hibiscus, hibiscus in Hawaii, but this so is maybe it's Alaska. Uh, but anyway, to Rochelle's yeah. point, the point is you can grow these way up north. So don't think just because it's a tropical yeah. plant, you're not going to be able to grow it. You're going to be able to do it. 827-690 yeah, yeah, is the item number. Don't forget to get spray and grow for all the plants. We're going to be airing that in just a moment. It's the key to a successful garden. I'm going to thank Rochelle. Do we have, oh, we have strawberries. What am I saying? I forgot we have strawberries coming up in the shelf. I wanted to promote the shovel. Uh, we already have so many people buying the Wonder Shovel. Could be the last shovel you ever need to buy. Uh, I've never had a shovel this good in my life, all right? And I've gone through several of them. I love the construction of this shovel. It is made just so well, durable, gonna last you probably 10, 15 years, all right? They call it the Wonder Shovel because it'll go through roots, debris, rocks, gravel, clay. It goes through anything. It has saw teeth on one side. It is tough steel and fiberglass construction. I'm telling you, that shovel ain't going nowhere, so if you wanna get it, it's $49.95. Already a lot of people have picked it up, all right? And you can get that for $9.95, you get a brand new free, a uh, brand new HSN credit card, $40 in your account. Come on over. Uh, this is the first fruit of the season that I've done. Uh, it is almost April, so it's time to get those plants in the ground. These are called the Leaf and Petal Eversweet Strawberries. Here's what I'll tell you. If you love strawberries, if your kids love strawberries, if your grandkids love strawberries, the fun they will have growing these themselves is unending. They are gonna have a blast, all right? And the strawberries are so completely sweet. Have you ever had strawberries like right off the plant? They, I mean, I'm telling you, they're so sweet. They pick them early when you get them in the store so that they don't over ripen and half the time they never ripen. When you do them yourselves, you will pick them when they were ripe and they are absolutely amazing. Uh, in here, you can see how they grow. They grow inside this beautiful greenery. They are ideal in beds or containers. They are delicious and fun and make sure, this is also a key one that you wanna put spray and grow on, right? Spray and grow will exponentially increase the size of your strawberries and the yield, unbelievable. Rochelle, I'm excited. We finally have our strawberry plant back. Yeah, and I cannot believe the deal. I mean, normally if you go to a nursery, you're going to be spending like three or four dollars a plant. You're getting 24 strawberry plants for 24.95. That's like a dollar a plant, which is bonkers. Wow. And I just got to say, these are um, these are the exact same uh, strawberries. They are uh, an ever-bearing strawberry that most commercial growers are growing. Um, it's just that you're going to be able to get them fresh off of your own plants and they will taste a lot better, but also they'll be really pretty. With 24 plants, you can fill multiple pots. You can fill multiple hanging baskets. You can put a row of 24 foot long, because they take about a foot a piece, of strawberries. And, and the, the the reason that we, we send them now is these are going to give you berries this year. They are perennials, but honestly, the way the, uh, the growers grow it, they take these exact same plants, they put them in the ground, and that is what they're harvesting in their first year. So if, if, if the commercial guys can do it, so can you, and you can get them straight. You know, the other thing I want to point out, strawberries are one of those, uh, what do they call them, like the dirty dozen or whatever, that you really want to make sure that you get organically uh, grown because they do have a tendency to soak in, um, you know, a lot of the pesticides and things that get yeah. sprayed. Um, and, and it goes right into your mouth, right? You know, some things you can peel and whatever, and it's not such a big deal. Strawberries are one of the ones that if you can get them organic, that you want them organic. This is what you want. You can grow them yourselves. You know exactly what went on that. And, you know, nothing probably. And they're delicious. I, I can hear that. Mm, oh they sound God. so juicy. <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I had some right now. You know what's funny? <laughs> Give me some of those. I have it's gotten so strawberries from, uh, from our uh, grocery store, and they weren't very good. And it's always so disappointing because oh, even yeah. the ones that look like they're going to be perfect, hard as a rock, and have no little... flavor, when you grow them yourself, and it's, it's a kick mm -hmm. to do. Because you can, you can see them when they come in, they're like little babies and then they get plumper and plumper and plumper. Then they get that red color comes in. That's when you want to take them. And you can manage it around your property. So if you want to, you know, if you've got a little trough outside and you want to just do them outside or you have a separate area of your garden, this is how they're going to look. They kind of just tuck in. Go out there with yep. your kids or your grandkids and harvest your own strawberries for their breakfast cereal in the morning. It's such a nice thing. And for a dollar a plant, you're getting 24 pieces. 
24. 24. I mean, that, <laughs> it's that's so many. Gonna, and, and about how many strawberries do you think, Rochelle, you would get from each plant? Oh, you know, easily a dozen, yeah. I'm guessing. I mean, I've grown these, and, and they do spread, by the way, over the years. They'll send out runners, yep. so if you can't, you can very easily establish a strawberry patch. I, I know I had a very large one for years. All my neighbors, they still call me years later. I got rid of it, but they're like, wait, what about your strawberry patch? Everybody loves strawberries. Everybody wants to come and get them and eat them. And the sun, you know, a strawberry that's ripened under the sun straight off, it's kind of like tomatoes. They that Something about the sun and the warmth of that and that fruit they taste it's almost like they're a completely different fruit than oh, yeah. what you buy in the grocery store they just taste so much more intense and beautiful and you get a lot you know if you're yeah. into jam making or dessert making you or know what they, whatever they, you know you're gonna get a big flush of berries enough to really actually do something with they remind me of tomatoes as far as like tomatoes in the yeah. store tomatoes in your garden completely different you get a bag you're going to get 24 of these it's got the little 24. bit on top and then look at that well-developed root system underneath look at it yeah. look at how well developed that root system is that's the key to getting these things to grow perfectly $24.95 is all you will pay. If you love strawberries and you love hanging out with your kids and having fun with your grandkids, I suggest those were absolutely delicious. And by the way, you get the leaf and petal brochure. It tells you everything you need to know, when to plant it, how to plant it. And remember, we'll deliver it when it's time for yours to go either into a pot or into the ground. You're going to love doing that. Thank you, Rochelle. You're welcome. We'll see you soon. All Get right. all these good plants. I can't wait to go plant them myself. I know. They're so awesome. I want strawberries <laughs> so bad. I think I'm going to buy some strawberries today. That'd be fun in my backyard. Uh, by the way, if you would like some places to put your plants, I will tell you these are the nicest planters I've ever seen. They look exactly like terracotta, like um, fired, glazed planters. They're plastic planters, but look at how beautiful they are, all right? You're gonna get four of these, okay? Nice big jumbo size, um, $59.95. They come in either this uh, mottled blue, and then they also come in gray, I think is the other color. Yeah. Oh, red is the other color. All right, but they're really beautiful. Put them out on your yard and you get all four for $59.95. All right, we're gonna move on. It is grow time. I want to show you something. I have been using this product since it first came here years ago. It's called Spray and Grow. Easiest way to get your plants moving in the right direction, okay? Because you don't have to worry about going down into the roots. It's not a fertilizer. It is vitamins for your plants. You spray it directly on the plant. It's non-toxic, safe for your fruits and vegetables, safe if you have pets, safe if you have kids. All right, I rinse my fruits and veggies off no matter what. You don't have to, it's non-toxic. Look at the before and after. Look at those poor little scrawny radishes without spray and grow. Look at them with spray and grow. And remember, we didn't spray the radish, we sprayed the leaves, right? What's above ground is what you spray. And all you do is you take a little bit, because a little bit goes a long way, you spray it on your strawberries. A little bit goes a long way, fill it into a spray bottle, all right, and I'll show you all our choices. A little warm water to activate it, and you just spray on, on top of the plant. You do it like every two or three weeks, that's it. And the results are gonna blow you away. Carrie Mobley is here. Can't have scare, a spray and grow without Carrie Mobley. That's right. Hi. Professional gardener, this woman, she's the key to my, she's actually a key, one of the keys to my show success because she does so <laughs> many wonderful things for us. You know a lot about it. You yeah. do everything in the garden. Let me show everybody the sizes sure, that they have. Sure. If you just want to start it out, you got a small property and you want to get it, uh, this is our 16 ounce. We also have it available in the 32 ounce. And by the way, the 32 ounce will make 60, what, where's my card here? 96 quarts. Yep. So you get 96 quarts out of this. We also have it in the half gallon and we have it in the full gallon. I get the half gallon because I use this stuff all the time. And I'm telling you, I would not be the gardener that I Agreed. am without spray and grow. Right. Yeah. This is, it's basically green thumb and a bottle. Yeah. So people say to me all the time, what exactly is spray and grow? Well, it's totally unique. It's not a fertilizer. Your plants actually do need a fertilizer. A lot of it though, they can get from the soil itself. Spray and grow is vitamins for your plants. Now, Bill Muskoff, who was a gardener, but also a chemist, he realized that those 17 naturally occurring micronutrients would guarantee you to get more, bigger, and better. 
It's totally non-toxic and it works with foliar feeding. Now foliar feeding is really special because all plants have something called a stomata on them. They're basically the little pores on the plants. And when you feed through foliar feeding, it's 10 times more effective than feeding through the root. And the reason why is because like you were saying, Guy, it doesn't have to use gravity, you know, fight gravity to get all those nutrients up into the flowers, up into the fruit. So how does it work? You take two teaspoons, right? It's a concentrate. You mix it in a spray bottle, just rinse it out really well. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. And then you're just gonna let it spray itself all over the plants, on the leaves, on the fruits, on the vegetables, even sticks right because they all have stomata yeah it sweetens it intensifies the sweetness of your fruits and vegetables it is incredible and it is guaranteed to the very bottom of the bottle look at that this is one of my favorite pictures that we ever show can you imagine if there was a for sale sign in front of this house how many people would be banging on the door to get this why look at the garden all this was done using spray and grow even the hanging plants look at how beautiful even the grass right. how green that grass is we say anything that's green and gross look, at that. look yeah this is a tennis ball these are the tomatoes but just like we were saying about those strawberries these are not going to be bland tasteless strawberries you're going to grow them yourself hydrangeas peppers these are 14 inch peppers from clarkston michigan this, this my is, very yeah, hometown this is bruce bruce says i've been raising hot peppers for 30 years and these are by far the biggest cayenne peppers i have ever grown this is the first picking off 12 plants he said the two in the front are over 14 inches he said it's the first time i've ever used spray and grow i'm impressed to say the least that's yep. a guy that grows them for a living Look oh. at the size of these gorgeous blooms. This is from uh, Cindy and Donald in Indiana, and they said this was my third year using Spray and Grow. Thanks for a wonderful product. Yep. That, my friends, is basil, right? Yeah, it's an enormous. Look at the size of those basil leaves. Anything that's green and grows, and you're gonna use this, guys, about once every two weeks. I love the with and without. So whether yeah. you have annuals. With and without. Right, annuals, perennials, orchids, a patch of grass that never seems to grow, fruits, vegetables, even cut flowers, it makes your cut flowers last longer. A Christmas tree, if you cut your Christmas tree and you spray, spray and grow on it, it's gonna last even longer. The sweetness of the tomatoes. <laughs> Guy, <laughs> that is a human woman standing next to a rhododendron. Wow. You know, we've been on television selling this for 40 years. It started with Bill and then his Jeez. daughter, Melanie, and now they've kind of passed the, the presenting torch <laughs> to me, but this is still a family-owned company right here in the United States and Texas, and okay. that is a basil leaf. I mean, you could make an entire salad just put a slice of tomato on there and put it on a little bread and butter, right? I mean, oh my gosh, look at the size of that. Again, all you do is spray it. And you don't need to do it every day. It's about every couple, three weeks. Yep, yep. That's all that you need to do. You know, maybe after a rain, you want to, you know, you want to let the plants dry and get it out there. Here's the same plant before and after a spraying. It just gives you an idea. I, I love this of the arbor. Look at how that grew. Okay, so whether it's climbing vines, look at the size of that yep. freaking cabbage. Are you kidding me? It's and it really, it works really quickly too. You know, a lot of people, you know, gardening is competitive, right? I know that because I, people hire me to make their garden more beautiful than the look next. So if you want to have that garden that everybody just stops and looks at, you've got to get spray and grow. It's a customer pick, read through the reviews. It's non-toxic and the other thing is that's really important, this does not have a shelf life on it. So it's never going to expire and the concentrate right i'm holding um you know the 32 ounce this 32 ounce will last you at least a year if not two years so don't worry about you know whether or not you're getting too much you can use it forever and if by chance if by chance you aren't getting the results that we are promising you blueberries you can send it back for a full refund Look, and you know why we can do that guy because it works I, I, it listen, really really does it's the first product that i actually bought that wasn't a plant here yeah. with spray and grow okay i had heard so much about it and i was like you know what i I'm not a great, when I first started, I'm not this great garden. I'm not like you, you know, I'm just, I'm not people like you. I just like to grow stuff, it's fun. And I got out there and I was like, you know, I'm gonna try this stuff. And remember the first time I told you what I couldn't grow, it was the herbs. I was having a hard yes. time growing things like Well, you live basil. by the salt water I too, I live by right? salt water. Yeah. And I was having a hard time growing those and I sprayed it, I think it was on cilantro or whatever. And the reason I liked it is because I know it's non-toxic. Correct. So I can eat it. I sprayed it on there the first year, I, my, that cilantro plant doubled. 
in like a month. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is truly the key. And just a pride you yes. feel, you know? Well, and you it, put a lot of love into it. And, and, and I, I know it's like, look at this, like this. If you got kids or grandkids, you love them. Right. What is part of raising them? Feeding them, making sure they're taken care of, making sure they have their suntan lotion on. Correct. All those things that you do so that they will grow properly, it's the same. By the way, I don't think we have that power sprayer. I wish we did. I don't know why we do not, but I will talk to our buyers about that. Yeah, we, we have another sprayer that do we're we? doing this year. Yeah, um, we're because you can just... We're including it in the big one. Right, yeah. you can just put it... In, uh, in a regular spray right, bottle. Right. But if you get the gallon size, I think you do get, you get the sprayer with the gallon one? Um, or we it's have a available? separate configuration, okay, exactly. Okay. And you can check it out online. Um, yeah. So, you know, again, really easy to use, once every two weeks, quick results. I mean, and again, I just love flipping through these pictures. By the way, we never asked our customers no, to send in these pictures. Yep. When was the last time you were so impressed with something? Oh so impressed yeah. that you took the time to take a picture and send it in. We have thousands of them. And honestly, I send in pictures all the time. I post about it all the time. Look at this, that. This Look is not that. a farmer, by the way. This is somebody who just likes growing tomatoes. But farmers have been using foliar feeding for over 50 years yeah. because foliar feeding is a more effective way to, to feed your plant. Now remember, your plants need water, yeah. they need fertilizer, but this is the vitamins for your plants. And spray and grow, there's nothing like it. You know what's nice about, about my, my gardening community, if I, if I may call them that? Say. My gardening community. <laughs> well, a lot, of, a lot of you folk, a lot of you are, are, you know, you're either you're seniors, you're retired, you've got a little bit of time to, you know, your kids are grown, whatever, to spend some time in your garden. And I consider gardens like our kids, right? It's the same thing. It gives me pleasure. I love watching them grow. They're, they're a lot easier to take care of than kids. I will tell you that much, a lot less stressful, but you enjoy Enjoy it. The, what you get out of it is so huge. When you put spray and grow on, and in a couple, three weeks, you're like, look at that difference, yeah. and you'll know. So if you want to return it, after a month, if you say, hey, it didn't right. work for me, we don't, we don't, it doesn't bother no. us because we know it works. We do, we yeah. do. And, and listen, you can finish the whole thing. Yeah, go ahead. You can take it to the bottom of the bottle and say, listen, I gave it a go. You won't send it back because it works, and that's why it's just awesome. Let's show everybody one more time. Yeah, do it. All right, so people, all these, yeah. all these pictures were sent voluntarily by people. There was no, we didn't ask for it, by people that use spray and grow. All right, this is Henry from Texas. Look at those beautiful plants. Uh, and I'll even give you the name. This is uh, Gary and Diane from Michigan. Uh, they planted this and then they use, <coughs> then they use spray and grow. This is Carol from Myrtle Beach. Look at that house. I mean, look at that beautiful, beautiful house. And I'm gonna get a drink of water, but yeah, 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 I got we you. use this on all the different, like you can use anything, this on grass. Anything that's green and grows. And so that is what is really awesome about spray and grow. If you have a patch of grass that just doesn't grow, I'm telling you what, you put spray and grow on it and you're gonna get the results. It is scientifically proven. It is guaranteed to give you more, bigger and better annuals, perennials. I mean, these, by the way, are so big. When they planted them, they were supposed to be baby carrots. They were baby carrots. That's the spray and grow difference, and it's guaranteed. Just the gorgeous color. I tell you guys, this is the absolute secret to my gardening success, and you will love it. And I know a lot of you are, and forgive me, right now, a lot of you guys are just seeing that first sign of spring. Do it now. Do it now. You're going to get results for the whole garden you wanna, season. You want to see how hard it is? Do you really want to see how hard it is? Ready? Well done. Come well on. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> My director just said that's, that's the most work I've seen you do all day. Because <laughs> she's a pump. It's what worth she is. it. It's but worth it. I love it. her. All right. It's, it's so easy, and you know what? You got 30 days to try it out. So again, 16 ounce, 32 ounce. Uh, I'd get the 64 if you think you want to really try it, because you're going to use it everywhere. Even on trees and shrubs. Use it on yes, your hibiscus, sir. use it on your strawberries, roses, all that stuff. You are the best. You are the best. Thank you so much, Miss Carrie Mobley. <clears throat> hey, what you got there? Ooh, I love this knife. Jenna just slipped me a shiv. Look at that, man, that is awesome. That is awesome. All right, hey, we're doing specials on uh, on HSN.com, Andrew Lessman Month. I just got, you know what I just got? I got the cholesticare. I'm like, you know, I get to a certain age, maybe I should be concerned about the cholesterol. Uh, plus, I also take cholesterol medicine. <laughs> so, uh, try it out. You'll love it. I know, hey, I have high cholesterol, but I also have good 
I have a good high cholesterol too. It's just in our family. What are you gonna do, right? Anyway, uh, this is what Jenna just handed me. And let me just tell you, I was joking. It's not a shiv. It's a garden tool. It's called the Hori Knife. Are you ready for it? Imagine walking around the garden with this bad boy. This thing is amazing, okay? Look at how gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful carbon steel. Has blades on one side, saw blades. Razor sharp on the other. Perfect for digging. Uh, concave design to be able to cr create the hole in the ground. Depth of soil written on the top. And let me tell you something, this thing, don't mess, all right? This is a serious, serious tool. And it comes with a little sheath so that you can wear it on your hip while you're doing your gardening. Totally cool, I love that thing. Thanks, Jenna. You hand me that any time. All right, what am I doing now? What are we doing? Oh, we're, are we talking about streaming now? All right, let me grab my streaming stuff here. All right. Uh, hey, Design School, have you heard about this? With Ballard Designs, it drops a new episode each Friday to our streaming channel, which is HSN Plus. Each week, this program brings our customers inspiration, great advice, and a chance to be your own designer. Uh, imagine uh, if every home makeover show actually gave you the opportunity to shop what's in the show. Be like watching your favorite home design show and be like, I want that lamp, I want that table, I want those drapes, I want this. You can do that. Uh, it's on HSN Plus. All you gotta do is click the QR code. Makes it easy. All right, what am I doing? Taking a break? I'm gonna take a break. When we come back, we have the Bionic Color Burst Lights, a four, back, four pack, amazing, with Luca Caputo. Stick around. For over 25 years, her game-changing products have been reinventing clean to make life better and brighter for you and your family. As a cleaning fanatic, I always think about germs and how to, you know, how to solve all that. That's why Joy Mangano brings her new line, Clean Boss, to HSN. I am so thrilled about Clean Boss technology, probably more than a self-ringing mop, if that's possible. <laughs> Watch and shop the whole line on HSN and at hsn.com. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $369, all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $40 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. Hello, beauty lovers. I'm Tina Jennings. And I'm Amy Morrison, and we'll be your hosts for HSN's most glamorous night. The, the beauty, beauty Customer Choice Awards. Awards. Find out who shines the brightest in your favorite categories, including the best body moisturizer, the best mascara, and best fragrance. The stars come together for the Beauty Customer Choice Awards, Monday at 8 on HSN. Welcome back, everybody. All right, here's what I'll tell you. I don't like to scare you, but here's what I'll tell you. I own a, I own a two pack of these, and mine just have white light. I love them. I love the fact that I can direct the light anywhere. I have it, my whole driveway lights up, like under the cars. So like when I come, you know, when I when I come out in the morning when it's dark out, my whole driveway is lit up from like the. It's really really cool. It's called uh, the Bionic Color Burst Solar Light. Now they have color as well. Lou's gonna explain all that. It's $49.95 for all four. Jumbo solar panel on the back, line your driveway. Anything you wanna highlight. Maybe you've got a tree, you wanna highlight a tree and have it shooting up at a tree. Maybe you want it shooting down, like me on the driveway. These things are wall mountable. You can stake them into the ground. They are already, we had about 900. That's all I had. My producer Kyle just said, guess what? I said, what? He said, I got 600. So you are ordering these very quickly. That's how many, how many do I have left? 566. Let me get my buddy Lou Caputo out here. Lou was with us earlier in the show. Hello. As you know, Lou's been a friend of this for 35 years. 35 years. I started when I was 10. That's unbelievable, my friend. But yeah, but you've always brought us the coolest products. I, I love this stuff. I, I may get these. Uh, I may get these. I already have a set of two, but I don't have the ones with the extra features. <laughs> these let are me, great. All right, so let me tell you something about these. I have a four pack of these that have been in front of my house for two years now. 
Yes. My house is blue. It's like a light denim kind of blue on the yeah. outside. And I keep them on blue. And the house looks so crazy oh, cool at night. Yeah. There are 15 LEDs in all of these, okay? They're all tricolor LEDs, which means they can do white, they can do purple, they can do blue. So you can select an individual color or the other thing you can do, in fact, I'll just put this on top of this and you're see, gonna see what happens. Right there, I covered the solar panel so it just lit up. Watch the light, it's gonna go through the colors there, right there's the purple, then it's gonna go blue, then it's gonna go back to white. You can choose an individual color guy, any color that I want, yeah. or leave it in the color burst <coughs> rotating mode like where it's just gonna keep- the morph mode. The morph mode, and yeah. it goes through all the colors. But here's the thing about these. I know a lot of people out there have bought solar lights before and spotlights and things like that, and they're like, they're not that bright when you get away from them. Right. I have mine eight to 10 feet away from my house, okay? The light, each one of these lights up at least a quarter of the house. I could get away with just two in the front oh, if yeah. I wanted and two in the back. I just really like it to watch. And it goes from the ground all the way up to the top yeah. of the roof. My driveway, Amazing. I just, you know, I just had pavers put in my driveway yeah. and it's probably from the deck to the street, it's probably, I don't know, 70, 80 feet. Right. I only have two. It's a, I have two, see? and they only they only uh, they shine in, in the white light. They light my entire driveway up. These things are amazing. And the, and the little golf cart that I have out there. I'm like, it, I just like it because well, it's 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 you can you can situate them and articulate them anywhere. anywhere you want. Let me give you a quick tour, okay? So in, when you look at the front right here, that's where you've got those high powered LEDs right there. Okay, look at them all. fifteen of them. There's a ton in here. All right, this head is articulated, so I can aim this up, down, or wherever I need to. On the back of this, there's one button, that white button right there. You just press that, and it goes through the colors it'll also turn it on and off although the sun does that for you once you get it where you want now notice it comes with the stake that you see right here okay but the other thing that's on here two holes for a nail or a screw. So you can actually mount these to walls as well. But here's what's so cool about these. A lot of times you get landscape lighting and that's all it's gonna be is just landscape right. lighting and it lights up a little. These throw so much light. If you wanted to put these on a tree, on a deck, on the side of your house yeah. and use it as constant lighting at right. night, these things will stay on, I kid you not, for eight hours without any kind of a problem. Well, if you look at the size of the solar panel. It's huge. It's about double the size of what most solar panels are yes. on solar lights. So yep. you're gonna get even if you only Look get this even if you only get three or four or five hours of sun a day right you're gonna get it's gonna last through the night but remember 50, uh, loaded with LED light <coughs> this is not a mood light this is a really good bright light if you want it to be a mood light you just switch it to one of the color schemes yeah and now you can change it's the so color easy. It's for so holidays easy. or if you're having a party right. at your house and you're like look for the big blue house or look for the big green There's such house. cool colors too the they blue really the purple and yeah. the white now here's the thing a lot of folks out there are saying like all right I already got some outside lighting and you know what I go through this every time but I'm just going to show you some of it's got to be wired some of it has to have batteries put in it they don't turn colors these are just motion lights our light will stay on and when I say eight hours I'm not kidding like I'll go to bed and the lights are still on or the only lights I've ever seen that rival these guys when it comes to landscape yeah. lighting is low voltage lighting where you've actually got to hire an electrician you got to dig trenches you got to yeah. bury stuff guys I'm telling you I don't get excited about solar lights, you know, no. uh, often because I sell so many of them. <clears throat> These things I personally use. There's four of them in front of my house. They've been there two years, yeah. and my neighbors think I've got low voltage. All right, I got 450 left. If you want to pick them up, 49.95. They are well worth the money because they're going to light up your entire property. Yes. Whether you want to use them for a garden, or you want to use them to light up your house, or you want maybe you've got like we got palm trees here. You want to put them to going straight up a palm tree. Totally do that. You can do that as well to light up the fronds as well because because that's how much power they have. If you want to get this for $9.95, get a brand new HSN credit card today and we'll put $40 in your account. Mm -hmm. You'll just pay a little bit of tax probably at the end of the day because yeah, they're 49, so $9.95 and a little bit of shipping and handling. Get it home. I don't care what size your house is. A four pack is perfect for you. Oh, I have yeah. a two pack. I, I'm probably gonna order these today because I, 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 I love how lit up my driveway is, but there's an area on the side towards the, uh, my, my neighbor on the street side. Right. There's no light back there. And that's where my, my uh, hose bib is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, sometimes I'll turn on those and I don't like walking out there in the dark because I'm always like, it's gonna be a skunk out here or something, man, I know it. So you can utilize these, go ahead. Totally. Well, let me tell you how bright these are, okay? And this and this is like, from the outside, they look incredibly bright. From the inside of my house, Guy, when I'm inside, the light comes in through the plantation yeah. shutters that yeah. we have, and I can see it on them, and that's how I know these are really bright, because I've never had any kind of solar light that would actually do that. Right. If I turn the lights off in my house, the whole house inside is lit up by these things oh, yeah. coming through the plantation shutters. 
all these, night. These are not, these are not motion lights, okay? No, these no, no. are constant regular, on. yeah, these are regular, permanent, constant on nighttime lighting. lights, constant on lighting. So, and, and the install, stick them in the ground. Yes. Or if you want, I see this is what a lot of other lights you can't do. You can mount these. Yeah. And remember the panel Any faces up towards the sun, brilliant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of solar lights come with a separate panel. I'm like, I don't want to have two different things. You know, they, well, whatever, I just, it seems crazy. So these, it's actually built in and to lose point, Look at the size Huge. of this solar panel. Massive all right? solar panel. And remember, you have an adjustable base. So I can, I can adjust this up Aim or down it. any yeah. way that I want, okay? And then there's where the sun is going. So the sun is coming down here. And then, like I said, if you want to aim them down, even better, because now the sun is right on top. You know what I'm going to do today? What? I'm going to go home and put a set around my palm trees. You do, I don't know why I never thought about you it. You gotta. I gotta do it. That's, I'm doing it. You know what's funny? It's the first thing I did when I moved to Arizona, because Ari genius. Arizona has palm the trees, too. Oh, yeah. I went out and I bought light. Actually, I bought the ones you had to wire, which is no fun. No. Nope. Good thing I had, I, and I didn't have that shovel that'll go through clay in Arizona. All right, I've got how many left, Kyle? Kyle says, Guy, we have 250, but there's 240 people on the line right now. I think now, they're going to sell so out. So I think they're probably going to sell out. Congratulations. So. Lou Caputo, 35 years. Started when he was 10. I did. It's an amazing Ten. guy. Little wee child. <laughs> <laughs> we love our Lou Caputo. Hey, remember, if you don't see something in my show that you'd like, how about type in Guys in the Garden on hsn.com. Look at that somber rose. Look at the strawberries. You can order anything. Fruits, veggies. You can order flowers. You can order lights. That three-pack of gloves, buy them. I'm telling you, you're going to get those gloves home, and you're going to be like, he's right. These are the best gloves I ever had. What are you laughing at, Rebecca? Rebecca's laughing. Thanks, Jenna. That's Jenna. Remember, she, she keeps sending me, she keeps giving out these very big weapons for the garden. Jenna's our girl. Love her to death. She helps us so much. Uh, anyway, so we're getting right into this. This is my pick of the show. Can I get it? Can I get in front? Is that okay, Rebecca? You're gonna yell at me. So I want to give everybody an idea of the size. I'm six foot three. All right. So this is the size of the shovel. So it's a perfect size. If you're a shorter person, don't worry. It'll be perfect for you as well because I've got my arms up on this. So if you're a little bit shorter, you're still gonna be fine. What I love about this shovel is the design of it is flawless. Okay, first of all, we'll start at the top. This is the blade. Though I've never seen a saw blade uh, on a shovel like this with this kind of a shape. It's almost, this is very similar to like an alligator head, right? That's what I kind of call it, the, my, my, my gator shovel. You've got a, a razor sharp edge on one side, all right, that'll cut through debris and the hardest soil. You have these cutting teeth on the other side, on the other side. Those will immediately cut through the roots and the crud. You know, I got a banyan tree, those dang freaking banyan roots run 50 feet. And when I'm trying to plant in my yard, I can't get through. It's the perfect size and weight. Uh-oh, in my, my cards, thanks, Jenna. So the weight on this is, that's the lights. I gotta go to the shovel. I just wanna make sure I get three and a half pounds. Go to the reviews. 42 people left reviews. 42 people left reviews, 34 perfect five star. And the rest are all four star. I don't know what you wouldn't love about this. I absolutely adore it. Comfort grip, wonderful strong fiberglass handle. It's never gonna break on you. Uh, rust resistant, weather resistant coating on the galvanized steel. I mean, the thing is absolutely incredible. It is my pick of the show. I'm gonna hand things off and then I'll do some demonstrations here to show you how it works, but I'm gonna hand it over to my partner over the pond over there in England. Her name is Lorna Co. Lorna is an amazing guest that we've, has been with us for years and years and years. I love Lorna because she's a tough gal and she does it herself. Lorna, welcome. Oh, guy, great to see you. Welcome back to my garden here in London, England. And I'm going to come up close first and show you what you were just talking about. So the old-fashioned shovel, excuse me, by the way, it is pouring with rain in England. That's all right. No surprise. <laughs> so what we've got is the old-fashioned shovel. This is very, very heavy. It's cumbersome. And if you see, it's got a flat bottom. So breaking into hard, compacted soil or roots or clay, this is very difficult to use. So the team at Greenbase, they're a third-generation family-run business here in the UK, said, let's reinvent the shovel. Let's make it much easier, strong, and lightweight with this unique head. So first of all, reinforced fiberglass handle, very, very strong, but only three and a half pounds. You've got the grab handle here, ergonomic rubber grip for two hands. Then the steel head, as you say, shaped like an alligator. You've got a razor sharp blade on one side. You've got tines on the other. 
and you've got a pointed end for pinging out roots or breaking through hard ground. And I've got mine here, and we actually have in the UK a 93-year-old customer called Elsie Mason. She's 93. Her daughter bought her one, and she's got gardening again. Because even with rocks and tough stuff, this just slices through. And you can use those pointed tines to get rid of brambles, weeds, nettles. You can use them to dig the perfect hole. But even if you come across hard things like bricks and rocks, it doesn't matter because this is such a tough shovel. And I've actually got a box here to simulate some roots because I know your banyan tree gives you those root problems. Imagine these, your hard roots. All you have to do is just dig down and it shatters that root in seconds, guys. <clears throat> this is why the Wonder Shovel, we call it the UK's best kept secret. We say this oh, is yeah. something that can help you garden, replace your other tools. And it's so strong, I've got a cinder block here. You can even break up a cinder block with this. <laughs> and then <laughs> I've also got my favorite guy, my yeah. watermelon. Cut that because watermelon. To show the other side. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I, this you know, I. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny because I lived in Arizona for several years and I remember, you know, I, I mean, no wonder everybody does zero scaping out there because they can't dig holes in the ground because it's so hard. With this shovel, yep. you have no problem. Uh, I just got a tile out here. If you can get an overhead shot, you'll see. I don't have to worry about when I'm sticking in this ground about my shovel chipping or breaking because it's got the little fork teeth on the end. It goes right through anything, absolutely no problem. If I have to move rocks, I never worry about that. But here's one of the main reasons I love it, is the shape of it. So when I'm digging a hole, I can go in a circle and I can create the perfect little area yeah. for my planting and then I can pull out what I want. See how I can create this great little hole? It's shaped yeah. absolutely perfectly. And then I can take my plant, which is here, and I can go in and then I can use my shovel obviously to backfill like that, but it creates the yep. perfect hole that allows the roots and everything to breathe. And remember, if you put a plant in the ground and you don't get rid of those pre-existing roots, those are stealing moisture yep. from your plant. Yep. So that's why your plant's not growing because it's not free of all the other debris. And if you've got trees with long running roots, they're sucking all the water out of the soil. That's why your plants aren't growing. This is the solution. $49.95. Yeah. If you want to get it for $9.95, get a brand new HSN credit card. We'll send this home to you. All you got to pay is a little shipping and handling and the $9.95 that's left over. You know, tools are so important when it comes to gardening. I never really thought about that. You know, when I first started gardening that I should get really good stuff. Don't go buy a $15 shovel. You'll have it yeah. one season. You'll get splinters from a wooden handle. It'll it'll break, right? Like, look at the back here, how this is attached. I don't know if you can see. Look at how, how it's attached on the back. A giant rivet that goes all the way through, and then the sleeve is long. Not a little short sleeve, a long sleeve. That's on it. I don't know how close you guys can get. Maybe you can come in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Come on. There you go. So see how long that sleeve is? That's important because that's good, what's gonna allow the handle to, to slide all the way in and be nice and strong. Most of them, it only goes yeah. up to here and then it always breaks. And then yeah. you've got a rivet that goes all the way through. There's the, uh, yeah. the tines we were talking about. I mean, Lorna, virtually indestructible. Oh. You'll have this shovel, dare, exactly. dare I say, 10, 20 years. <laughs> Do you know what, exactly, it's built to last. Super strong, yet super lightweight. Three and a half pounds only, 48 and a half inches. And in the UK, we have a 93-year-old customer, Elsie Mason. Her daughter bought her one of these, and she's got back in the garden at 93 because this is a shovel reinvented. This is light. This is strong. That super-shaped head, the slicing side, the, t the tines the other side, the end to ping out the weeds and to break through roots. And again, you know, what shovel can actually attack a cinder block? Yeah. You know, not many. <laughs> so this is going to change the way you garden. 34 five-star reviews by. Every time I look, the reviews keep going up hey. and up and up. And this is it's why. It's one of the best secrets here in the UK. It's never too late. Can we show the picture up of Elsie? Is it Elsie? Where oh, is she? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, we gotta, let's show some, let's show some respect. Bless, bless We've got Mason. that lady, she said she's 90 something years old. Come on, Kyle, put the picture up. Old. There she is. 93, her daughter bought her one because she stopped her. gardening. And Elsie got back in the garden because she's been using the wonder shovel. This is why it's a wonder. It's an absolute wonder and a pleasure to garden when you've got a great tool hey, like this. One of the best tools I've ever bought. And you can get one yourself. Lorna, you're amazing. Love it. Oh, thank you, Guy. <laughs> All right, darling. Have a great weekend.
All right, yeah, you too. All right, let's come over. Uh, as I told you before, oh, by the way, real quick, Read the reviews. Everybody, the best shovel I've ever created, I've ever bought. The serrated edge is amazing. It's not bulky. I love it better than my regular shovel. So grab that shovel, will you? All right, our question of the day was, uh, what prank or what kind of thing have you been involved in on April Fool's Day, which is tomorrow? And we're gonna get our best answer here. Here we go. It's from Lily G. I love the name Lily. I got my son with an April Fool's joke. I put a picture of Slash, the rock star, on each of his car tires. Then I went to wake him up and I tell him his tires were slashed. Get it? <laughs> That's hilarious. 